Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Breaking news. The Olympics just screwed Trump today with nasty display that just popped up. The 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea has just begun and has already proven it's probably going to be the most controversial games of our time. For decades, it has been an honor to represent the United States in the games, but this year seems to be far different. Like many major sporting events since President Donald Trump has taken office, athletes mixed politics with the competition where they don't belong. Despite that being root cause that completely destroyed the NFL, these top-notch athletes didn't learn and have now gotten other world representatives on board with their sickening antics. The president hadn't planned to show up in South Korea but it's clear that the disgusting attitudes have already presented themselves in Pyeongchang. When American Olympians don't even respect our president the nation they are representing at the games, how can anyone expect other countries to do so? It's part of the reason why all that was negatively said by downhill skier Lindsey Vaughn, figure skater Adam Rippon, and now speed skater Shawnee Davis leading up to the games was so unacceptable and damaging. We're now seeing part of the results of those disparaging remarks that will likely only get worse over the next few days of the Olympics. Yahoo Sports reports. Leaders from around the world showed up for Friday's Winter Olympics opening ceremony in Pyeongchang, South Korea, including U.S. Vice President Mike Pence and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Yes. President Donald Trump and Supreme Leader of North Korea Kim Jong-un were not among those present. Or so we thought. While the real commander-in-chief was not there, an impersonator showed up in his absence to humiliate the president which is slapstick sideshow with a Kim Jong-un impersonator. While it may seem like innocent fun to these jokesters and Trump detractors likely enjoyed it, it's grossly disrespectful to do to the most powerful leader in the world on the world's stage. Yahoo Sports clearly took delight in the sickening sideshow that was clearly aimed to discredit the president. Look what they had to say about it. So those guys are clearly not Kim Jong-un and Trump. The pair of nation leaders who have been trading threats of nuclear war for the past year didn't decide to shock the world with a friendly get-together in Pyeongchang before getting kicked out for being too rowdy. If only. But two dudes did a damn fine job of making it look they did. From the overcompensatingly long red tie to the haircut even a 13-year-old with bad taste wouldn't dare wear. These gentlemen got the attention they so clearly sought out. Could you imagine the report if some funny guy pulled a stunt like this dressed as Barack Hussein Obama and had shown up with an Islamic leader impersonator at his side for an Olympics while he was in office? We highly doubt that there would be any laughing. In fact, you can bet that much of Team USA would have boycotted the games, as with all the viewers back at home. There's no place for antics like this at a worldwide event meant to bring countries together. Thankfully, Olympic security did the right thing and kicked this duo out. They are a distraction for a number of reasons and prove that the Olympic Games aren't going to be much different than the worst season in NFL history we just had. We can thank the Trump bashing athletes for setting this tone too, putting their hate for Trump and Pence on full display before even making it the Games. Politics has no place in the Olympics, it's not that kind of competition. The Yahoo article praises the impersonating pair for helping them get into the Olympic spirit. We're all for a good time and a laugh but are lost on how disrespecting the President of the United States shows good sportsmanship and respect for other countries, which is what the Olympics is really about. Ironically, Liberals like to say Trump is immature with the things he does and says in public, yet see nothing ridiculous in two grown men dressing up as him and Kim Jong-un and gallivanting around the Olympic Games like drunken fools. The double standard has always been clear, but maybe an Obama and Hillary Clinton impersonator should be sent in as an incarcerated chain gang and see how funny Democrats thinks these antics are after that.